Hello YouTube, Daedric Nightslayer here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own free Minecraft server. Now, I've used this technique a lot of times. It worked for it worked for 1.3.2, 1.4, and 1.5.1 right now. But really, the you only have to download one thing. But first, with that I have one thing to say. Um, oh yeah, you cannot install plugins on the server. This is an MP server. You cannot install plugins, but if you just want a server, you can build on or whatever. This is good. Now, first, you'll just want to create a new folder. And call it something. I'm just going to call this YouTube. There. Now, what you want to do, go to Minecraft.net, go to download. This is the only thing you'll have to download. So, pretty cool. And, oh, by the way, this only works for Windows. Sorry, I should have probably said that. But, what you want to do, you'll just have this. You'll don't just click it. Right click it. Save. Save link as. Then. And wait a minute. Loading should open up a folder saying okay where do you want to save this so you don't like lose it okay this is taking longer than I thought but um I'll tell you what so after you download it you'll just want to run it and you should get a ton of stuff, but let's wait. Sorry about this. Come on, you computer. Load. Load server. Oh, great. That did not help. Now it. Oh, no. What just happened? What happened? Oh, great. It's not responding. Just perfect. Um, okay, this is really frustrating. What? Okay, here we go. Here it is. Now, this should pop up. And load it, load it, load it, load it, load it, load it, load it. Yeah. Now, after this loads, you want to go to desktop. Then after you get to desktop, you'll just want to find wait what? Okay. And my computer is horrible today. My screen recorder is being a derp. Okay, here we go. Dang it, no! Shut up, Norton. I don't care. Okay. Um, you'll just want to scroll down. Um, YouTube. You just want to, or find your file folder. This is my Minecraft server. It's already completed and stuff. But you'll just want to save it in there. But I'm not going to because, um, I just want to open, then save it in there. But I already have done that, so... Keep your internet up, you'll need to go to websites, but you don't have to browse them. But after that, I'm going to open my already finished server. You will find... You will not see any of these files. You will see this file right here. This is the only one you'll see, though. Okay? And you need to run it.
Okay. So after you run it, just double click click it. A Java file should pop up here. I'll just run it right now to show you. It'll take a especially long time to load, especially with my screen recorder being really slow. Um that's what you get for having a free screen recorder. The world's slowest computer. There we go. One of those. Now this all this stuff will pop up. Warning, just ignore these. Wait for it to say done. But before I go on, oh, never mind. I just want to show that my it does work and that I could join my server, and it'll pop up. But I guess I can't. But guild and after it says done, warning can't keep up. Doesn't matter. Okay, just ignore it. Just type in stop. Hit enter. It'll save all the stuff. Save the Nether. Save the end. And it should close. Close. Just you can minimize it. So after it closes, you should get all of these files. Maybe not the server lock. Oh crap. My screen recorder just went berserk. Um there we go. Alright, it's back. It just went behind my tab so I couldn't hit done or anything. So Oh dang it. Okay, see it's closed. The Java thing closed. Now um yeah, all these files should pop up. Now now you'll go to start type in cmd okay all the stuff and then type in ip config now all the stuff should pop up now we're not looking for anything now look for the default gateway and the ipv4 address write both of these down okay after you do that you can just close it out open your internet now your default gateway not your IPv4 address your default gateway which mine was 10.0.0.1 hit that this should pop up the username is admin and the password is password so admin username's admin password is password login now yours should be different than this but it'll bring you to netgear after this loads all right there you go you'll want to scroll down go to port forwarding and triggering click that Okay, so here is my server right now. Now you'll just yours will not have this. It'll just say something else. But just add custom service. It doesn't matter the service name, okay? Because mine says Age of Empire. It doesn't matter. Service name, just name it. Um, YouTube or Minecraft server. And this has to be 25565, and this has to be 25565. Okay. Now, server IP address. For this, you'll want to type in that um, IPv4 you wrote down before. Mine was 10.0.17. And you'll just apply that, but I'm going to hit cancel, but you'd hit apply. And. Okay, so you're. Now all of your now your server is completely set up and stuff. And now you'll want to go to 
Now you should have something like this, but yours will be different, except for this. The name can be different, but 25565 has to be the end, start port and end port. And this will be different though. Okay, so now you'll want to go to ipchicken.com. And okay, so this should pop up. Okay, this is my actual IP address, but um, I didn't know how to block it, but I don't care. Yours will be completely different. This is what your friends will type in. If your friends want to join your server, this is what they'll type in. Okay, so write this down for their friends. Not this number, your number. Okay, so I don't want you people saying, oh, 68. Dot one one two dot eighteen dot ninety two didn't work. Oh, I hit you. Okay, I don't want that. So make sure it's your number, not this. But I think you're smarter than that. So you're pretty much done with internet. So you can just close that out. Now you want to open your folder again. Now, before you get it up and you join and all that, you'll have to go to these, and you can do whatever you want, really. But something you have to do. Scroll down. Let's see. Where is it? Online. You need to. Oh, by the way, don't mess with the server port or don't type in the um, server IP. Do not type anything here. You need to find online mode, but I cannot find it. Oh, here it is, online mode, right underneath texture pack. And you, what you want to do, this will say true, but you want it to say false. Because if it says true, then you can join, but no one else can join. So if you just want to build spawn and stuff, just have true on or just turn on whitelist. But I just keep it on false, and then enable whitelist. But yeah, you can make spawn NPCs, all this good stuff. Just don't type anything in. Do not type something in server IP, or do not delete server report. So yeah so you just want to save that make sure online mode says false close it and now you can go if your server is a whitelist you can just type in the people you want and yeah that's it you should be able to join everyone should be able to join if you're f one just a couple of reminders if your friends want to join they give you the IP chicken address not the 10 dot, not your IPv4. Give them the IP, alright? For chicken, whatever. You know what I mean, alright? Um, I'll leave some steps in the description for you in case you get lost. So, um, yeah. I hope you learned a lot from this video, and this is Daedric Night Slayer signing out. See you later, guys.